The most famous company in South Korea is naturally the Samsung Group, which is not only a super chable, but also called the Samsung Republic by Korean netizens. Speaking of Samsung Group, don't think that Samsung only sells mobile phones. The businesses involved include electronics, finance, medical care, hotels, aviation, insurance, machinery, etc., covering almost all fields in the national economy. It is South Korea's first consortium. Therefore, there is a saying in South Korea, there are three things that cannot be avoided in the life of a Korean, taxes, death and Samsung. In other words, as long as you live in Korea, you will inevitably become a Samsung customer. How much money does Samsung have? The annual income of the entire Samsung group can reach 20% of South Korea's total GDP. To say that Samsung has such a small move in the business world, the entire Korean economy will be affected. And this Chable group is a family inheritance system implemented. Lee Cohen hee the former leader of the Samsung Group, gave birth to four children, each of whom was superb. Her mother Hong ar hee is also a billionaire businesswoman and philanthropist who is the director of the Liam, Samsung Museum of Art. The Lee family currently rank among the Forbes richest people in the world with an estimated net worth of $70.2 billion. Among Lee Cohen hees four children, the eldest daughter Lee Boo Jean was born in Seoul, 6 October 1970. She is the younger sister of Samsung Electronics Executive Chairman Lee Jae Yong and the older sister of Lee Seo Hyun, Chairman of Samsung Welfare Foundation. The three star princess looks dignified and generous, and she is not at all lost to any top actress in South Korea. Moreover, she has the heroic spirit of fighting in the business world, and she is even more brave and heroic. It's not unusual for Korean public figures to change their names so that they have better pronunciations or meanings. According to the Korea Herald, 725,000 Koreans legally changed their names between 2002 and 2012. Of course, there are stage names too. But Lee's case is unique considering that she changed her name at the age of three. According to Chosen Newspaper, Lee had a weak body and was affected by various health issues when she was a child. Her cousin Jae Hyun, chairman of CJ Group, suffers from Charcot Tooth Disease, CMT, and since the disorder can run in families, the publication speculated as to whether Lee suffers from it too. The Korean public widely believes that Lee's parents decided to change her name from Lee into Lee Boo Jin for better luck and a healthier body. The pronunciation of Boo is stronger than Boo, and the character for Boo means rich. Chosen reported that she appeared to become healthier after changing her name. Lee Boo Jean not only has good looks, but also has some achievements in business. She went to a prestigious school since she was in school, she graduated from day one foreign language high school. In Korea, studying abroad is an indicator of status and wealth, so many Chable Science attend university outside the country. Lee Bu Jin's brother Jae Yong studied at Keio University in Tokyo for his master's degree, while her sister Seo Hyun obtained her bachelor's degree at Parsons School of Design in New York. However, unlike her siblings, Lee decided to stay in Korea and attend Yonsei University, preferred by K-drama stars for her bachelor's degree, majoring in children's studies. Her choice of a local university is even more surprising considering that she studied French back in high school at Day One Foreign Language High School, no less, which is one of the best language schools in South Korea. And then went to MIT for advanced studies. After returning to China, her father Lee Cohen he only gave her a less important business line, the Shilla Hotel. As the CEO of Hotel Shilla, her language skills must come in useful. Chosen Biz reports that she speaks perfect English and Japanese too. In the 15 years she took over, she has made this hotel the most powerful hotel in South Korea, with a sales increase of 650%. What kind of immortal family background would such an outstanding second-generation Chable marry? Whether in fiction or reality, rich families always pay attention to the right person, especially in Samsung Group. But this eldest lady was shocking. It happens to be married to a bodyguard who has only a high school degree, and looks very ordinary. 
This bodyguard is called Im Woo Jae. Im Woo Jae joined Samsung's CNT after graduating from Dangkook University, while Lee Boo Jin joined Samsung's Welfare Foundation as part of her management training after graduating from Yonsei University for years before the couple got married. Regardless of his family background, figure, appearance, and academic qualifications, everything is average. From the perspective of the Samsung family, he is completely unqualified. It was just that when they protected Lee Bu Jin once, the two took a fancy and started this love in a disparity in the field. When this matter reached Lee Cohen He, he was even more furious and asked the two to break up immediately, but Lee Bu Jin, who had always been independent, to persuade Lee Bu Jin's relations, Im Woo Jae reportedly visited to every member of the Samsung family members ahead of tying the knot. After seeing the saw for four years, Lee Cohen He had no choice but to agree. The wedding of the bodyguard and the super lady took place in August 1999. The marriage between Lee Bu Jin's daughter and Im Woo Jae grabbed attention not only in the business community but also from the general public as their union was considered a modern day fairy tale. Im Woo Jae was quickly dubbed as Mr. Cinderella by the press due to his ordinary background. After the marriage, Im Woo Jae no longer needs to be a bodyguard and is sent abroad for gilding. But the language is not clear, and he does not have the ability to learn elite knowledge. Im Woo Jae came from an average family, unlike his wife, with no associations to owner families of the nation's leading conglomerates. His father was a private entrepreneur. In comparison, his younger brother-in-law Kim Jae-yul, Samsung Engineering CEO and husband to Chairman Lee's third child, Lee Seo-hyun, is the son of the late Kim Byung-kwan, chairman of Dong-a Ilbo Chairman. Im Woo Jae, who is frustrated in his heart, has committed suicide twice without success. Since the marriage, Im Woo Jae has left the country to study in the United States and has worked at Samsung's U.S. branch. In 2005, he was promoted to a Samsung electromechanics executive and later climbed the ladder further, becoming managing director in 2009. Two years later Lee Bu Jin, who loves her husband, arranges a position of vice president in 2011. His current position. If you are incompetent and incompetent, it's fine, Samsung's big company, it's more than enough to raise an uncle. But Im Woo Jae was not satisfied, and insisted on making a tough decision, not only to mess up his work. Outside, it was a place to linger around with dogs and horses. There was a lot of lace news, and the paparazzi chased them and filmed them. At home, he beat and kicked Lee Bu Jin and committed domestic violence. From the outside, it seemed that the couple was happily married with no sign of any trouble in paradise. Lee Bu Jin is such a proud figure. Although she has love, how can he endure the insult of the other party for so long? Lee Bu Jin chose to sue for divorce. After many attempts, Lee Bu Jin gave her ex husband 80 million yuan, 1.03 billion US dollars and has demanded custody of the son she has with Im Woo Jae, the famous Samsung Cinderella story has successfully come to an end with a marriage that seemed like it would have a fairy tale outcome concluding in divorce. In 2020, after over five years of battling it out in courts. But there was plenty of drama even before the divorce proceedings. We all know how the news and the media can report on untruthful accounts, so we don't know whose side of the story to believe. However, Im Woo Jae's account was quite different. As per Hank Yori, during their divorce proceedings he revealed that he was actually a private security guard for the Lee family. He said that Lee Bu Jin began relying on him, which led to them dating. He even expressed that he had no intention to take the relationship further, but Lee Kun Hee apparently encouraged him to marry her. So did Lim fabricate the truth, or did Samsung's PR team? Lee Bu Jin isn't the only family member ending their marriage. Her older brother and heir apparent to Samsung Group, J.Y. Lee, divorced his wife Lim Se Ryong, daughter of Daesang Group's chairman, ending an 11 year marriage. Among Samsung's heirs, Lee might have the biggest heart. Jung Ang Ilbo reported how she famously once offered up Shilla Stay's rooms to victims of the massive fire in Ulsan in October 2020. But there's another story that showcases her kindness too. In 2014, a taxi crashed into the revolving doors of Hotel Shilla, injuring a hotel staff member and a hotel guest. The taxi driver had to pay almost 40 million won, 36,000 US dollars, in damages. 
However, instead of being angry that the driver damaged her business, Lee worried about him and requested her company's vice presidents to directly visit him at home to check on him. They discovered that he was living in a one-room flat and caring for his sick wife, who had suffered from a stroke. After learning this, Lee decided to drop the charges and sent gifts of beef and cake instead. After Chosen picked up the story, the Korean public showered her with praise for her generosity, and the Hankyori even reported that, according to a survey, she became rated the number one CEO role model at the time. K-pop idols aren't the only Korean public figures who know how to dress. Korean netizens describe Lee Boo Jean as possessing classy and feminine looks with the dignity of a queen, and a look at any of her photos will reveal why. She's also popular for her sense of style and choice in brands. Chosen even ranked her as number 5 in its Top Fashion in Korea list. In 2011, a photo of Lee going shopping with her young son at a department store went viral online. Netizens thought the impression she gave off was that of a typical mom with her son, not an untouchable chable. Some particularly eagle-eyed users even pointed out the Cetaphil lotion in her shopping trolley, which ended up being known as Flea Boo Jeans Lotion and quickly became a trend at the time. Getting featured in any big annual list by the likes of Forbes and Fortune is an achievement enough in itself, but what does it take to keep appearing year after year? One woman was chosen for Fortune's Most Powerful Women of Asia Pacific list in 2015, and both Forbes, Korea's 50 Richest rank in 2020 and its Billionaires list in 2021, you might have guessed who we're talking about, Lee Boo Jean, the eldest female Samsung heir. In a conservative country like Korea, business moguls and their family members appearing on reality programs, YouTube channels or other types of social media open to the public that some millionaires in other countries engage in, will never happen anytime soon. If not, ever. Since they are not considered celebrities, they do not seek to be treated as such to the public. We know it takes years to build a good reputation for a stable or successful company but it also takes a short amount of time to lose all that reputation. In conclusion of this episode, many people think that this eldest lady has done a good job in her career, but her vision of choosing a man is a mess. But some people analyze it from another angle. Although Lee Boo Jean really divided her ex-husband's 80 million yuan, she still has more wealth in her hands. With her business vision, it is not easy to make money. The reason why this eldest lady chooses a bodyguard is precisely for her own future plans. South Korea has always been inferior to men and women, even in the Chable family. If Lee Boo Jean married a second-generation wealthy person, her father Lee Cohen he would not share much property, and in the husband's house, he might be trapped in the family and unable to work. The eldest princess of the Samsung group, even after the divorce, still works very well, even if it is more than half a hundred years old, but still beautiful, the extravagance of her body makes her more beautiful. I have to say, this is a legendary woman, born from a wealthy family, grasp any opportunity, win the ticket, and plan every step of your life. Who doesn't admire this kind of strategizing ability? Thank you for joining us on this episode. If you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell, so you never miss out on our stories. Drop your thoughts or suggestions for our next episode. In the comments below, we love hearing from you and, of course, share this video with your friends and family. See you in the next episode.